Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm out here in the Purcell Mountains today and it's just me and the crock pot. We're trying to rekindle our relationship that's been neglected for too long. So this is just an intimate one-on-one -on -one getaway and hopefully it doesn't get too graphic. Kira has begun her own spiritual vision quest to find her uh, special appliance. So we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. But uh, I got a lot to do today. I'm going to get out the crock pot and we're going to make some chicken wings. And while those are cooking, I'm going to do the hike up Mount Nelson, which I think is above 10,000 feet. I haven't been that high in a long time so I'm really excited to hit the trail. Look how dusty it is. I might have to give it CPR. Are you still alive buddy? Oh you poor thing. I hope you're not angry at me. Don't burn the van down while I'm away. That's all I ask. So I gotta start out by giving the wings a spice rub with all of the above. Um, I won't put you through all that torture. I'll <laughs> just skip ahead. I owe so much to the crock pot, I can't believe that uh, I just let it get dusty. So now that the wings are all coated, I need to make up the honey buffalo sauce, which is uh, honey, of course, and uh, some Frank's Red Hot and butter, and molasses is optional if you have it. All right, I'm going to pour the sauce over the wings, then we'll be just about ready to hit the trail. All right, I'm going to do this on low and slow for about uh, three and a half hours. I got my timer all set up, so it'll be done at uh, seven o'clock tonight. I've also got my cooler set up on a timer. I'm really happy with this thing. It's been working really good for me. The only thing is the wiring schematic that came with it was written in some kind of alien language. So uh, you have to look on YouTube. There's a few good uh, resources there to help you out. I picked up a new backpack while I was in Vancouver. My old one was in shreds, but this is just a really bare bones, lightweight one. 22 liters. My last one was 18 and I just always felt just a tad too small, especially in the winter when I had to carry more gear. But I think 22 liters would be a nice size for uh, day hikes and it's nice it actually has an attachment to carry an ice axe but the one thing it's missing is a pouch on top I like to carry snacks in there so maybe I can try to sew something on there all right crock pot be good be safe and I'll see you real soon so this is a 13 kilometer round trip with about uh, 2,000 meters of elevation gain it's really raining last night so the bushes are all soaked now I'm getting all soaked, starting up a wet shirt competition here. If you want to win at spring break, you got to start your training early and eat lots of chicken McNuggets too. So I think that's Mount Nelson up there. That's what I'm headed for today. But I'm really excited to be back here and I hope to uh, revisit Kananaskis before the snow falls. I think out of all the mountains that I've hiked in Canada so far, that those are my favorite. Kluwani there in Yukon is a very close second. It's just so beautiful there. And uh, I hope I get a chance to uh, revisit it and see some more. So the last episode ended in a cliffhanger. I'll try my best to explain everything that's happened since then. So uh, we picked up a new oil pan and we're hoping to swap them out in the wild. But uh, the one on the vehicle was glued on there really, really tight with a sealant. We were hoping that we could pry it off with uh, just basic hand tools, but it wasn't gonna budge. She needed to have a, a special wedge and a hammer to get it off. So we put her faith in the JB Weld patch and drove into Vancouver and she was trying to arrange a mechanic to uh, swap them out for her. But uh, I haven't heard yet. Uh, if the job's done, you might have to tune in to her channel for the final conclusion. But I'm hoping that we'll meet up again in the future and make some more videos together. But uh, while we were both there in Vancouver, we did some building on her van and uh, we got a really good start on our kitchen and it turned out really cool. All right, here we are starting up day two in the Home Depot parking lot, and this is what we've come up with so far. So her van uh, was already custom fitted with a plywood floor, and there's some uh, rubber mat on top. So we just cut out a uh, chunk of the mat and uh, reinforced the floor a little bit there, then started building 
this table on top of it. It's all uh, custom cut and contoured to uh, fit the shape of the van so there's no wasted space in behind there. And we managed to bolt it to the wall so it's very sturdy, it's not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, she's got her induction cooktop ready to go. Foresty forest style drawer. <laughs> yeah. Kira is drawing a lot of attention to herself. She's a hobo celebrity right now. If you look closely, there's a pea stain on the pavement over here. And uh, here's a quality baby wipe. Still usable. Oh, that's not too shabby for a couple days spent in the parking lot. And we also got uh, her diesel heater pretty much installed. So this is as far as we're going to take the diesel heater today. Uh, going to put some tape over the holes. Not going to bother with the intake and exhaust right now because we'll have to take it apart and put the fuel hose on it later. Uh, I think we're going to have the fuel tank over here so that when she slides open the door she can easily fill it. Kira's survival pod starting to come together. Just climbing up between all these shattered bands of rock. Kind of interesting. Trouble in me, we're old buddies, you see? Yeah, take some chocolate and some lobster and some eggs and some pie. So first we have Mount Farnham, which is the highest point in the Purcell Mountains. And I believe that's called the Starboard Glacier. And then Jumbo Mountain. And around in this direction we have Panorama Ski Resort and the town of Invermere. And this is the first time that I've seen Mount Assiniboine from this direction. It's just uh, towering above its neighbors there. Well, that summit was a lot easier than I expected it to be. It's only 3.30 and the wings won't be done till 7. But uh, I gotta cut some wood and get a fire going, so there's that. But uh, I guess I'll just slowly meander back to the van and I'll see you there. Oh, my chicken wings are almost done. They're looking real good. Just waiting for the fire to burn down and then we'll crisp them up. I'm not normally a fan of IPAs, but uh, I'm enjoying this one. I don't like a whole lot of hops. This is nice. Nelson Brewing Valhalla Hazy Pale Ale. I think I'm going to need both grills tonight. I got about two pounds of chicken wings to cook up, so it's going to be quite the feast. Okay, so the chicken wings are done. I'm going to transfer them into this pot, and then I got to thicken up the sauce with some uh, cornstarch. I think this is cornstarch. I don't know. It's just a mysterious white bag of powder that I found in my drawer, so uh, we'll find out later. I think it might actually be easier to drain the sauce into this pot and uh, just leave the chicken wings where they are. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Yeah, so far so good. 
Oh yeah, that worked good. Thinking outside of the box here. I really don't know what this is. I'm just, <laughs> just gonna go for it. Hopefully it's the right thing. So this is really thickened up. I'm gonna dump the chicken wings right in here and toss them around. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this has got to be the worst cooking show on YouTube. <laughs> Why are people watching this? I gotta be really gentle because uh, they're just like falling apart in here. I already know this is going to be so incredible. I've never experienced wings like this before. They have everything. They're, they're crispy, they're tender, there's flavor all the way through. They've got the smoky flavor from the fire. A little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet. You couldn't ask for more. You're not gonna get this at Wild Wing. I also got this beer. It's a pineapple wheat ale, and I don't think I would have bought it. That I looked at the label closer. It's just kind of nauseous tasting. And this is the first time that I can't recommend a beer on this channel. But anyways, uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, I appreciate your comments and your views. And I hope everyone enjoyed this episode. Thank you to Patreon supporters as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh. Oh, no.